Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Hadassah, back with another video. And no, the title is not clickbait. I have actually two fake Gucci bags <laughs> to show you guys. So let me tell you how I came into possession of these bags. So my anniversary is tomorrow, actually at the time of filming my anniversary is tomorrow. And my husband knows that I love bags and he was trying to be really sweet and buy me some bags because usually I don't pay full price for bags. I buy them pre-loved and I always find really great deals. So he knows that there is the possibility that you could find a designer bag for only a couple hundred dollars, like 300 or less. He knows that's a possibility because I've done it um, several times before. So he happened to be in the pawn shop yesterday afternoon. And every time he goes in the pawn shop, he always looks at the bags. And he's always like, oh, look, they have this bag. They have that bag. And I'm like, mm-hmm, yeah, I don't trust it. Okay, mm -hmm. But yesterday, I decided to let him go ahead and purchase two bags. They had, I'll insert a picture um, here that he sent me. It was a Gucci Soho Disco and a small, the Gucci Ophidia small shoulder bag. And they were listed for, get this, $299 each. Like, what is life? $299 for a Gucci Soho Disco or an Ophidia Small Shoulder Bag? Like, what is that? I'm like, mm, that sounds too good to be true. And then the lady in the pawn shop was saying that, oh, yeah, we didn't get it authenticated because the lady came in with receipt. But, yeah, we're sure they're authentic. And I'm like, <clears throat> okay, so where's the receipt? So they found the receipt for one, but they didn't find the receipt for the other one. I was like, so where did they purchase it from? I was thinking they were gonna say like Neiman Marcus or something. They was like, oh, the actual Gucci store. Yeah, and they were down from New York. Yeah, her husband bought it for her and you know, she's had it since October. And I'm sitting here thinking, why would somebody be sitting on a bag since October and sell it to a pawn shop at a price so low that the pawn shop can make money by selling it for $300? Like, what is that? But anyway, I was like, hmm, still, ah, you know, they, they could be real. I was like, what's the return policy? So they were like, okay, you have three days, and, you know, if you find out it's fake, then you can return it. And if it's after three days, then you can only return it for store credit. So my husband buys both of the bags and brings them home. So I'm going to show you bag number one. This is the Gucci Ophidia small shoulder bag. And it looks pretty good. It's not bad. But the problem is, um, there are several problems. So let me show you the first thing that I thought was odd. So the first thing that I thought was odd is that in this shoulder strap, well, first off, there are so many like threads poking out. I'm not even sure if you guys can see that, but there are like threads poking out. But anyway, there's one, two, three holes, only three holes. And they're like really spaced out. I was like, hmm, that's weird. So I go look on the Gucci website and Actually, I looked at a YouTube video first of someone unboxing, and I was like, oh no, she has way, way more holes. So I was like, let me go check the Gucci website. So I checked the Gucci website, and yeah, the one there had at least five holes in it. So I was like, yeah, this bag is fake. Let me see, I really want to show you guys the stitching and how terrible it is. Yeah, I think you can see right there. Second, the stitching here look really weird to me like how far down the G's are I'm like that looks weird I feel like it should be more centered 
And in the video I was watching and, oh, come on at me. In the video I was watching and also on the website it was more centered and they didn't have the stitches there like that. And it's the same with the back, the stitching is off. And then I opened it up. Let me, you know, before I open it up, let me be careful. And these little hooks, this hook right here, I'm probably going to have to take a picture and insert it. But this, these chains are just terrible, terrible quality. This, yeah, I'm going to have to take a picture. This hook is like coming a loose. It's like not even together. So let me be careful opening this so I don't, I'll tell you why I'm being careful when I get to the other bag. So I look on the inside. So the paper is brown and looks super cheap versus in my authentic Gucci bag, I didn't do an unboxing on this channel, but the paper was white and it wasn't this color. So this pocket right here is supposed to be two pockets <clears throat> and it's only one. This pocket is one, so that's correct. This is one and that is incorrect. The color looks okay. It is this color on the inside in real life, but yeah, no, this, this just is not it at all. So this one is very obviously fake. And then I try to hold up my authentic Gucci bag, which is my case. Go watch the video for this one. And this one, side by side, these, there's the gold hardware, like, the quality is just not the same. It's a different color, and this just, I don't know how to describe it, but you know when there's like an overlay, like a plastic overlay on something? Um... That's what this gold on here looks like. And this is just like so flimsy. And the color is off as well. And also the, the G's are too thick with this. And also the shadowing. I don't know. It's just a couple. Of, those are the major things of why this bag, of how I figured out this bag is inauthentic. Okay, so bag number two. I really liked, I really wanted this to be real, you guys. I really did. I didn't know how bad I wanted this to be real. But it's not. <laughs> so this one, at least they, um, they got the number of holes in the strap. You know, they got that pretty accurate. It smells kind of funny, but y'all, I pulled this up last night to unzip it and the tassel part literally fell out in my hands. Like not only are these fake, they're terrible. Like I've seen good fakes on YouTube. Like there was one for only like $78 for this bag. And it was good quality, like they had gotten the features correct, like they had the double pocket on the inside and everything, but mine, I couldn't even get a good fake bag, <laughs> like what is life? And so on the inside of, so first off, these G's are too thick. You won't, I'll insert, I'll try to insert a comparison picture, but compared to a real, Gucci Soho Disco. These jeans are too thick. Those are my cats running up and down the stairs. <laughs> so, and then on the inside, they have a QR code, but the QR code is incorrect because it has a box around it. And like, you can just Google QR code and you can see that it has to have like 
I don't want to call it a live badge, but the actual code to the edge to be able to scan. The QR code on this one is so fake. It's ridiculous. And like I said, the quality is just absolutely horrendous because literally the tassel fell off of my hands, which is why I'm not going to open this one. I'm handling this one very gently because we're actually about to leave so that we can take this back to the pawn shop and get our money back because they're like, oh yeah, this is authentic and all this other whatnot. So let me go ahead and put this back in the bag very gently. <laughs> they just put it in a standard thank you bag. But yeah, guys, the moral of this story is <clears throat> If something is too good to be true, especially when it comes to designer bags, it probably is. And in this case, it definitely was. And just looking at, like, my, even, oh, that's on the canvas is something else that I forgot to mention. The canvas feels sturdier on this one than on the fake Ophidia. And like I said, the hardware is just more substantial on this bag and also the webbing isn't as shiny as it is on the Ophidia bag so <clears throat> I'm actually going to wear this bag to the store I think so I can kind of use it for comparison purposes when I'm proving to them that they bought an inauthentic bag and I think I, I was asking my husband, I was like, do you think they knew? I feel like they did because because the lady in the store, she's like, oh, this is a $1,300 bag. And I'm like, well, if it's a $1,300 bag, why are you guys selling it for $300? And then he was like, well, it's only a $50 bag if it's fake. She was like, no, fakes are still at $200. And I'm like, ma'am, no, they're not. And like I said, I found one. <laughs> this girl was um, doing a video, maybe one of those bougie on a budget videos or something. And her fake was only $78. Like, what is life right now? So, yeah. Let me wrap up this video. It definitely wasn't supposed to be this long because I have to go. My husband is waiting outside for me. So thank you guys so much for watching. And please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.